You're up, buddy. Welcome everybody here. We have some new guests. Dave and Joe Liberty Stan at TCB Auto Service. That's popcorn in town. Yep, the family's all here. Almost. They work on cars too. Who, the family? No. <laughs> Bob. TCB. So, uh, we're kind of talking about protesting, protesters and where those boundaries are um, with with protesting. Where does that, right. um, you know, how does that all flush itself out well, what as do you, far what do you as... Think? Where do you think it is? Where do you think the boundaries are? I mean, what laws are there laws being broken? I mean, I think the what, what do you think's wrong or right? These people have mm -hmm. a right to go out and protest whatever it is they're protesting, right. and you're driving because you got to get somewhere, or coming home, or wherever you're going, you got to get somewhere. Um, so who has the right? Them to being them? in like a public right of way. That, that's where they're protesting, and then... What's your opinion? Who has what? Right. I mean, I, they, I don't think they should be in the middle of a street or a highway not. or something. I don't think that's... I mean, people protest all the time, right. and they're doing it where it's not really interrupting right. the flow of, of a... Right, you um, can make your point and have your sign, mm -hmm. and, for, you know, hey, here's what I think, blah, 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 you know. But here's where it is. Um, Everybody has the right. Everybody has rights. You can do anything you want as long as you don't step on somebody else's right. That person trying to get somewhere has just as much right to go where they're going as you do to hold up your sign or protest whatever you're protesting. So uh, your rights end where somebody else's start. And that's, mm -hmm. and that's how well, you we, know. Well, we were at um, the right, the right, for li right to life for you know the protest about you know the abortion and stuff like that right. in the industry and we we're on the you know we had to stay on the public sidewalk we could you know i mean if we would have gotten in the road and blocked traffic or right. even in the road even in the way of the patrons coming to the facility right. which they weren't even open the day that we pro that the protest was there but it was a peaceful protest but we you know i mean if someone wanted to walk down the sidewalk right you gotta let them through right yeah. So I think the point was over here. Would you mind if I mention your name? Stella. Stella. Lisa. Stella. Stella Lisa. <laughs> Miss Miss L. Uh, you were making a comment though about you. You brought that up, and you're you're cons you were saying that the the uh, there was emergency vehicles trying to get to an accident. Is that right? Yes. Someone else protesting the event. Okay, and so these emergency vehicles couldn't get through because of this <coughs> other protesters protesting, <laughs> and then someone was hurt, and then the police protected the person, the um, the ve the person who was driving the vehicle that struck the one of the protesters. Is that right? Right, because they didn't see the protester on the roadway. Uh huh. It was nighttime. Oh, okay, okay. So what what kind of is your what are your thoughts on all of that? What are your I'll make it a nutshell because I'm really shy. <laughs> <laughs> speak up, speak up too and hear your voice. Yeah, you got it. In a nutshell, I think that we do have a right to protest and it's very appropriate and I would encourage that if people do that, but mm -hmm. we need to stay within the laws of our society. The right. laws of our society, the people who protect those laws, are there for a reason. And there may be a day, like the irony in that situation, that the protester needed assistance, uh -huh. but they couldn't get assistance because of other protesters. Okay. So I think it's really important to know that if you're within the guidelines of what society and the, the local laws say that you can do, right, it's good right. for you. And if not, then you may need to find another voice. Yeah. Yeah. That's good summer. She does it right to the point. Stella. Thank you. Hey, Stella. <laughs> Stella. So, so there are. It sounds like there are boundaries that are established. So Absolutely. why why were those people allowed to continue to protest in the manner that they were? I guess would be my question. Okay, look at the last few years. Black Lives Matters and various other groups that are out there. They just let them go crazy. I don't know yeah. why. They, well, yeah, you do. Some well, of them. I mean, it's. A, it, I mean, it, there's various reasons why they let them go. But because um, number one media and most of the government's on their side is the biggest reason but no they're in the wrong again once 
once your rights viol you you don't have rights once you start violating someone else. So mm -hmm. I mean that's the bottom line, really. It, it's, right. Do anything you want as long as you're not stopping somebody else from doing what they, they want. To do. What? I hit the camera side. Oh, are we still on? Yeah. Okay. Still have a little jump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little blip in the action. So, okay, do you feel like that's that's where we wanted to go with that with that message? Or? I think so. Yeah. I mean, this isn't new. We've talked about this before. But the protesting thing, I, that's that's kind of a new thing that you know how people are protesting. Like I said, I mean. You know, like Stella said, the the crossing those those boundaries as the law. I mean, I, I think it's, I kind of think of okay. You know, when there's a high speed chase, right. and the, they say I've heard this. I don't know. I mean, well, we have an officer of the law, a, a retired officer of the law. But when do they when do they say to because it's gets it's getting too dangerous for the bystanders that someone could get hurt? Is that something you ever experienced, Mr. D? Back off and let let the idiot go the 150 mile an hour that they want to in their nice blue Mustang. I have a friend that. Did that. So anyway, yeah. Mustangs are fast. You know they're good. They're yeah. really. Have you seen those cars? They're pretty. <laughs> I don't know anything about commercial those. for Ford Mustang right here. Pay us lots of money to promote your car. Where's my hat? <laughs> Well, you, I let you sit. You can sit in the passenger seat. I want money. And your hair will blow in the wind. I want money. Because <laughs> it's convertible. Show me the money. <laughs> but again, I think, you know, the, the concept of the fact that the protesting in a, in a legal manner and, you know, and I guess these people go down the streets and they're, they're breaking windows, starting right. fires, burning cars. Pull, pull, you know, cop cars and stuff like that. You see, I see, remember seeing, you know, it's like that's like a martial law almost thing where you know military has to come in and. Well, they should never get to that point. I mean, yeah, okay, you, you should never let it escalate. To that. Okay, so it needs to be probably more monitored better. Absolutely. Okay, if it gets to a certain point, then we need to step in and say, ten. I mean, it's hard to have a giant uh, protest without people know about it. I mean, there's right. people got to know to be there, what, when, where, what time. I mean, you know, there's Facebook. It's not like... Well, and I heard there's, there's funding. There, there's this side story, whatever, of where it's some... Are being paid to protest. Thank you. Yeah. Soros, yes. a lot of money. Okay. Look up George Soros. How do you spell last name? S-O-R-O-S. Look, in, look S, him up. George S. And um, see what see what he's all about. He's kind of that one world power government, right? One world order. So he's he's. I think he's kind of serving the adversary, if you will. I think that might be accurate. But you guys, we're gonna close up. I just got the key that it's uh, we're hitting our time. So thanks for tuning into the show. See and, you uh, next time. All right. Thanks, Stella. Stella.